morning guys well it's morning for me it may be evening for you but it is Saturday morning and uh, it's early what time is it I don't even know what time it is let's see it is um, 8 56 a.m. really early first and foremost thank you for stopping by thank you for hanging out with me this Saturday morning if it's another day for you well thank you for stopping by this video and checking me out uh, my name is Brenda, this is BYC Crochet, this is my Yarny Cave, this is my studio, this is where I create my messes, this is also my office when I work from home, and so it's a multi-purpose multi room, plus it's my husband's office for a landscaping company, so check out the shirt. And look what it says. What does it say? It says we have our 9mm and and are not afraid to use it. <laughs> this is uh, a shirt uh, that um, a local vendor, Demi Designs, created for me. So thank you, Demi. I don't think she watches my channel, but just in case, she's swinging by. Anyways, guys, I got up early this morning. I still haven't had my coffee. I just made it. That first sip of coffee, that first sip of tea, that warm liquid going down your throat is just the best. Anyways, once again, thank you guys for joining me. I have some works in progress that I want to share, some finished objects that I'm going to also share. It's up there, where is it? Right there. I was making it last time we spoke, and it is complete. And up there, it was made for somebody who requested it. Now, they had not paid for it yet, so let's see if they're going to come through and pay for it. If not, that's okay. That's okay. It'll go into my office, and it'll just uh, be another part of my plant display, crochet plant display. Um, I don't have that one in my office, so that's perfect. It doesn't matter. No big deal. Anyways, this morning, I got up early. My husband went to work. We have a landscaping company, so Saturday is one of the days where he actually... Um, um, works uh, at one of the county offices and um, it's part of the agreement that it has to be done on Saturday. So Saturday is the day that I normally sit and record and I try to record multiple videos to kind of put through the week. So um, yeah, it's you and me today guys. So I decided to go to Dollar Tree this morning to pick up some yarn and I'll explain why in just a moment. Um, as you guys remember, let me see, can you guys see the door? Let me see. Can you guys see? Um, let me see if I can turn the camera a little bit. So, um, not that way, but that way. You see that? So, when my daughter and I went a couple, uh, a few weeks back to do some rug tufting, the young lady that owns the shop was kind enough to give me a whole bag of scraps. And so I told her about Boggy Creek, and I told her that I'm doing blankets for Boggy Creek, and that that would be great to do a scrap blanket. So, true to what I told her, that is what I'm working on. This is where I'm at so far. It is truly a scrap granny square blanket. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm just grabbing whatever ball. I'm trying to kind of... Keep it in a way where the colors are trying to keep them, you know, not so many blues, not so many creams, not so many oranges. But I'm limited to the colors I have because I'm limited to what she would gifted me. So I am currently left with, these are the colors that I have left. Can you see, by the way, you like my melody? Also bad. Isn't that cute? Anyways, let me show you some of the colors. I have a lot of cream colors. And like I said, I was, you know, it was a gift. So beggars can't be choosers. I have greens. Excuse my dog. My husband has um, one of his equipment, one of his machines out back. And it's not a machine that we normally have here. 
And every time she goes out, she goes crazy. She starts barking on it like if it was some kind of special. So we got some yellow, some baby pink, some browns. So the colors are not the most bright, but still I'm gonna use them because that was part of the, the, the deal that I was gonna make a blanket. And I'm going to try to make it as, as pretty and scatter the colors as best as I can. So I started making it and I had an idea <clears throat> and was it Jennifer <clears throat> from Cinnamon Stitches? Yeah, I think it was her. <clears throat> she posted a community tab um, about some sales going on in Premiere and I decided just to go in and check it out. And lo and behold, Premiere had the Just Yarn yarn from the Dollar Tree, three for three dollars, which as you guys know is cheaper than the Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree would be three for three seventy-five. So seventy-five cents is seventy-five cents. Granted, you have to pay for shipping, but needless to say, when you go into the website, you have the options of all the colors they have available, and you get them in bags of three. So I said to myself, self. That would be awesome to get a whole spectrum of colors and just do scrap blankets with those colors and that way I can actually arrange the colors in a way that I would like. And that's what I did. I ordered, and I'll show you guys when the order comes in, I, or, I ordered a multiple, uh, multiples uh, of, of, of balls, well, the bags were three for three dollars, so a bunch of different colors I ordered, um, tried to order as bright colors and as cheerful colors as possible. And I placed the order. And then after I placed the order, I said to myself, Self, why didn't you pick up this color or that color? I said, well, I'm not going to go back and place a second order and pay for shipping all over again. So I said, you know, I'll stop by the Dollar Tree. Maybe a little, you know, it's going to cost me the, the 25 cents more. But at the end of the day, it probably ends up being cheaper. The only thing is that you guys know that the Dollar Tree does not have, at least the ones in my neighborhood, they don't have the variety of colors that you could get right straight from the manufacturer. So having all the colors available to me from Premier 343 was awesome. So I was able to pick all the colors that I wanted. So with that said, I placed the order. So I decided to go to uh, Dollar Tree. Well, some of us what I call it, the Dollar 25 tree. To pick up some some uh, just yarn worsted to see if um, if they had some additional colors that perhaps Premier didn't have that I could pick up, so that I wouldn't have to place another order through Premier. Anyways, before I get ahead of myself, you guys know the tulip order that I told you I placed. I placed that through Amazon. I think it was like thirty-two dollars. It came with this nice little kit. It has this little ruler. It came with a a needle in this little plastic case and a total of three hooks. It brought a 6.5, a 5.5, and a 5.0 which is what I'm using for that scrap blanket. And I have to say, I've never used a tulip hook before until now, and I'm really enjoying it. Once again, guys, I'm not a, 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 hook, a hook snob. I, um, I appreciate a lot of different hooks. I enjoy them all for different purposes. Some are better for cotton, some are better for, for acrylic, some are better for lightweight, some are better for uh, heavyweight yarns. And the fact that I'm a Thai crocheter, it also makes a huge difference um, uh, with hooks. So it is what it is, but I'm really enjoying this hook. If you're new to Tulip like I was new to Tulip, give it a shot. Buy yourself a small kit and just buy yourself one that you enjoy at the size, normally a size that you like to use all the time. And just give them a try. I'm really enjoying this this 5mm Tulip with my, um, my, scrap, my scrap project. Now I know I've said it time and time again that I normally only have one project at a time and this time I broke my rule a little bit. Well granted I already finished this little bad boy right here so I started this. And the reason I started this even though I still have this is because this is a project for the house and it is going to be a pretty large 
blanket that is going to be for my bed. So with that said, it's taking a little long and I did not want to get so bored just doing this. So I decided to break it up with that little bad boy which is done and now this. So right now I just have two whips. This one will be done shortly so then I'll have this once again, just this on my hook. And what is this? Hmm, so this is a blanket that I'm making with some, um, mi not millions, but mixed lots that I bought from, um, from, um, Ice Yarns. I don't want to lose my stitch. Okay, good. Not losing my stitch. And for this one, I am using the 6.0 dot hook, which is another hook that I really, really like. And as you can see, it is just the colors are all over the place. Uh, and but I, I quite like it. I quite like it like that. Um, so I decided I saw something in Dollar Tree that I decided I was going to try. I'm going to see how it looks. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to do a little bit of a little bit of um, some little spots of just yarn teddy. What do you think? I'm not going to do like a whole row. It'll just be maybe a total of 15, 20 stitches. That's it. And then get back to the yarn. Perhaps I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold the two together. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to try both ways to see. I thought it would be a nice little pop of a little bit of uh, a different texture throughout the blanket just for fun. I wish I would have thought it sooner and I would have done it... Um, uh, more towards the beginning as well, but I didn't so I'm just gonna scatter it however it comes out it comes out Let's see how it looks So this is uh, one of the yarns that I picked up a Dollar Tree many of you guys have seen this is premier just yarn Teddy It is a worsted number four. It's got hundred and nine yards. It is a hundred percent. Sorry 62 acrylic 38 polyester it is a uh, Looks like it's machine washable, uh, lay flat to dry. But you guys know me, it's going in the dryer. So I got two of those because I didn't know if I was going to like it. And perhaps I want to try the same thing in a different blanket. So that's why I bought two. Uh, what else did I get? Let's just go over what is non-yarn related. I got two loofahs or two shower uh, balls, one for each bathroom. Mm. Some trash bags for the bathroom, one for each bathroom. And I got these little baskets to take to the to work. And I'm going to take them to work and I'm going to put candies in it and in the break room so that the associates can have some, uh, some uh, candies and some cute little polish uh, tins. I thought those were cute. Okay. And let's go through the yarn that I got. So, I'm going to hold on to these yarns until I get my sh shipment from Premiere um, and kind of put all the colors together. If, when I'm done with the scraps that I have on this other blanket, I still need more to make it the right size for boggy then I'm going to tap into some of he, some of this. I did find a couple a couple of um, scraps uh, yarn in my stash which are these two colors and I am actually building it building them into the blanket as well the scrap blanket only to give it a you know also a pop of color and I actually had to dig into um, it wasn't a scrap but it was a uh, I have a bag of basic stitch, this uh, hot pink, which is actually uh, reflective, but no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and actually work this in. I also started working this in into the scrap blanket. Um, it is acrylic and polyester, machine washable and dryable, so no big deal. 
um, and this way I can have these three colors that I can just kind of build into that blanket just to kind of give it some pop of color because as you can see a lot of those colors that I was gifted they're very um, subtle colors and not very bright so this way it kind of just gives it a pop so this from my stash I'm actually working into that scrap blanket as well these are old yarns that I had laying around this one was a brand new pack that I actually opened in order to work it into that blanket into this one right here I'm jumping all over the place guys sorry did I put my hook in here? I think I did okay so okay so here are the yarns that I got from the Dollar Tree which I didn't get from oh one more thing I got from Dollar Tree the um, air fresheners, those oils. I normally get them, the ones that I like, I actually get them from um, Dollar General. So I decided to get this just to kind of test them out to see. I have one in my office, uh, so I'll take these to my office and see if I like them. Okay, so back to the yarn. So I got two, they only have two of the white worsted. I didn't get pick up any white, of course, which, duh. So I didn't pick up any of the white worsted. For those of you who are just seeing the Premier Just Yarn Worsted from the Dollar Tree, which I, I highly doubt you're just seeing it, but it is a number four medium yarn. It has 109 yards, 100% acrylic. It is machine washable and dryable in low heat. And uh, it is worsted. So I got two of the white. In addition to these two whites, which are the Just Yarn Teddy, different kind of different kind of yarn. Is this white? Yeah. For some reason, I got them. Then I got three, since the um, the kits that were being sent that Premier was selling, there were three packs of three. I decided to get three of this. Uh, it's color turquoise. So three of those, which I did not pick up in the order that I bought. I don't understand why I didn't, but I didn't. And I'm not sure if I picked up this color, but I saw it and I figured, it out. let me just get it just in case. And if I have picked it up, then I can use it um, in the scrap blanket. And this is just classic blue. All the same specs. And I got three of those as well. So I got three of the, the classic blue, three of the turquoise, turquoise, for those of you who like saying it that way, and uh, two of the white, because that's all they had. And then two of the Just Yarn Teddy, because this is just a test, see how it works out. And that's what I got. That is what I got, so yeah. So for this blanket, I am doing the fillet stitch, a fillet stitch that um, I did put a tutorial for this uh, on my channel a few days ago. So if you're interested in what this is, just go back and check out my channel, and I'll try to tag it down below so you can you can um, you can find it uh, uh, pretty easily. But you see how the yarn is just all over the place. That's what you get when you get um, mixed lots from ice yarns. They're basically like millens. So some of the yarn is not, there was even, I had to cut a piece off because there was a piece of, um, well, look at this right here. You see that little bit of tint of pink? I didn't cut it out. I figured maybe that was supposed to be brown. I don't know. But I left it like that. But then, oh here, there's another piece over here that is kind of a little bit of like pale pink tint. But then I came across a piece that was like pale blue. I'm like, no, 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 no. I worked up that pale pink, that's good enough. So I cut it off. It wasn't much, I cut it off. But um, yeah, now I'm wondering if I should have just cut off that pink spot. It is what it is. I'm not gonna go back. It's for the house, like Juan says, it's for the house. So if you're interested in this pattern, guys, I will tag it down below. This is what the yarn looks like. Don't be tricked by what it looks like in the outside because uh, every time I pull, it's a surprise what comes out of the center. So, we'll see. <laughs> As I mentioned, there's pink in here. There was blue in here. Oh, look, there's a little bit of the blue right here. 
I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Perhaps it should have been gray. And that's probably the base of the gray. And perhaps the pink is the base of the brown. I don't know. It could be. Who knows? Don't matter. Anyways, once again, this is the hook that I'm using. The dots hook, 6 millimeter, And this is the blanket I'm going to try to use that... that just yarn teddy in I'm wondering how it's gonna look I think it's gonna look cute but we'll see we will see and I think I'm gonna hold two together I'm gonna hold this with the yarn together for like 15 20 stitches cut it off sew in the ends and uh, keep on going with the yarn and then after a while, perhaps do it again. So it's not going to be much, a little, just some spots of that fluffy white. Well, we'll see. Oh, let me not forget to show you. The finish. Plant. Wait a minute here. There we go. Okay, now this one goes this way. I tried to uh, face. Where are you? Okay. So, yeah. So, this is the plant. You see how flat the bottom is? That's because I told you guys I was going to put the little stamp down here and then pull it through to the top and that way it kind of cinches in the bottom and flattens it out. I'm pleased with it. I can't see. Okay. There we go. I used green eyes. Do -de do do it looks like his eyes are bloodshot, huh? <laughs> He's been up all night sewing or crocheting or growing his uh his uh his uh his uh leaves or his little ferns here. Anyway, so I'm pleased with it. We'll see if the person who wants it ends up buying it. If not, he'll go to my office, like I said. not drop it. I had to put my amigurumis up here because my dog got a hold of this bad boy and now it's all dirty and dingy because she had been chewing it for a little while and I didn't realize that she was uh, going to town with it. So, put them up here. And this is the finished coffee cup. I don't know if I showed you guys. And this little well I had done years ago. Do -de -do -do -do. Anyways guys, that's all that I have for you. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful weekend thus far, if you're watching this on the weekend. Um, I don't know. What else? I think this is it. I think I'm going to do a, uh, um, a crochet and chat with me video later on. So if that goes up, make sure you go check it out. Anyways, guys, thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day and your weekend to hang out with me. It was an awful lot of fun to share what I'm doing and what I'm going what's going on in this mess of a room right now because I have not only a, lot, a couple projects going but also a box for Boggy Creek that is getting bigger by the day and um, yeah but really looking forward to getting done with all the blankets shipping them out to Nancy and um, and putting my little um, my donation onto the 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 lot of blankets that are going to be donated this year. Anyways guys, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're having a wonderful morning, noon, night, evening from the Yarni Cave. Peace. 
God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.